Welcome to your weekly general aviation news update. We have three stories for you this week. The first one is a new electric ultralight that's going to be unveiled at EAA AirVenture. We have Airbus Perlin, which is a cool project that's going to try to break a world record. And then we have the 5G saga that continues, and that's kind of a sad thing. Let's get to it. All right, the first story this week is the Dragon Personal Air Vehicle. Uh, Dragon is a quick assemble ultralight, which requires no pilot certificate. Uh, the Dragon is expected to be unveiled at EA Air Venture later this year, where we will be as well, and uh, will come at a price for $90,000, and that's a kit plane. It's an EV tall, and it has a 250-pound pilot capability. It has a 20-minute flight time and a two-hour charging time, which is pretty cool, uh, along with the other safety features, including a ballistic parachute, uh, some redundant flight controls, and then also a automatic takeoff and landing, and then some hands-off hover. Uh, this is really cool. I love the idea of having these type of aircrafts flying up in the air. This is kind of a, the conjunction between a, an ultralight, a helicopter, a drone, and it's all like a personal thing that you can fly around. So I think this is really cool. The second story this week is the Airbus Perlin, which is a glider that will attempt to fly at flight level 900. That's right, 90,000 feet. Now, the Perlin is a research aircraft that uses uh, stratospheric mountain waves in order to reach very high altitudes. Uh, currently, the record is uh, for a glider 76,124, which is held by the Perlin. That's right. So it's going to try to break its own record. Uh, if all goes well, the flight test will be conducted late July through September in the southern hemisphere, where I guess the conditions are kind of perfect right now for that, or will be at that time. Uh, we'll keep you posted if we see anything else, but uh, this is kind of exciting. All right, your final story this week is an update on the 5G disaster that we've covered uh, several times on this news update at the beginning of the year and I think late last year. Uh, the FA will not extend the time for airlines to upgrade altimeters and then we'll leave the date of July 1st as the deadline. Now, if you don't remember what this whole thing is about, uh, this is a concern that the C-band uh, 5G cellular towers are going to interfere with aircraft altimeters uh, required to land during IFR conditions. And yes, that's kind of an important thing, right? So the International Air Transport Association uh, said that, quote, supply chain issues make it unlikely that the aircraft will be upgraded by the July 1 deadline, uh, threatening operational disruption during the peak northern summer travel season. That's right. So if you think that the pilot shortage is bad right now with having flights canceled, uh, wait until the aircraft can't fly because of, well, an altimeter that hasn't been updated because there is a supply shortage and the FAA doesn't want to do anything about it. So uh, we hope that uh, this puts the 5G issue to rest at this stage, but I'm guessing this is not the last that we're going to hear about this. All right. That's it. That's all we have. Make sure that you watch the recap of our sun and fun uh, that we did a couple of weeks ago and uh, is absolutely a great video. You can see how much fun we had and all the things that we saw and we will see you next week. Mm -hmm.